The purpose of chemical protective clothing and the equipment is to shield or isolate individuals from the chemical, physical, and biological hazards that may be encountered during hazardous materials operations. During chemical operations, it is it is not always apparent when exposure occurs prior to donning and especially if entering high-risk situations. Make sure that you are properly hydrated and that you have relieved yourself beforehand. Attempting to drink or to go to the toilet once your suit is on well rest contamination unless you go through proper duffing procedures. Begin in a contamination-free changing room once you're ready to wear the suit, inspect your coveralls, there should be no tears, gaps, or holes in the suit. Remove any personal items such as key, jewelry, which which could dam damage the coverall. Follow a price, price, prices or order when putting on the suit. First, while sitting down, remove the footwear, open the coverall, and insert one leg after the other into the garment legs. Then put on shoes or boots back on. Put on your shoe or boot covers. Put your first set of gloves, then stand and pull on the coverall, ensuring it is fitting comfortably and tucked in, into the inner gloves. Before you zip up the suit, put on any eyewear, goggles, respiratory mask, Pull the hood over your head and zip up the coverall. If you are using an outer apron, put that on next. And if you are wearing an outer pair of gloves, put this on over the inner gloves. Joints can be sealed with an adhesive tape, including around the gloves and between the hood and face mask. But beware that tapping tap, can make the duffing process more difficult. The last item should be your face shield. Stretch yourself to confirm the suit is fitting will then check your whole outfit in the front of mirror to confirm it is properly sealed.